What up, people? It's Nick Ops here, and right now I am with the best Aaron Black in the world. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> yes, both sir. Agree. Best Aaron Black in the world. Great. And we are going to be talking about Aaron Black today. Now, introduce yourself. Uh, you so, in the NRS scene, or FGC, I guess, my name is Foles. Oh, mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I would say upcoming, because I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty good at the game. And I'm a coming player, and I mean Aaron Black. That's about it. Mm hmm. And yeah. <laughs> what we're going to be doing today is talking about Aaron and more specifically, just like matchup things and the buffs that yeah. Pulse thinks Aaron needs. Now, it's no secret right now that everybody thinks Aaron is lacking. And <laughs> I was one of the people when this character was considered top tier. I was like, they need to be careful with the nerfs. They're going to destroy him. And as soon as I watched the, not watched the video, um, made the video like me reacting live to his nerves. You can go look it up. I was like, yeah, they might have went too far. <laughs> and now look months later, they definitely went too far. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be talking about his problems and everything. And yeah, and the buffs we think he should get. All right, so like the buffs that... um. Pulse thinks he should get. Yeah, okay, so but I, I just want to start the video by saying I don't think Aaron's bad at all. I think he's very viable, mm -hmm. but he just has to work harder. So basically, the like, the only thing, I, the pros I see in him is that he has realist damage, you know? Like 30%, no meter, amazing. And his pokes, obviously. Now, his pokes are like the best thing he has, in my opinion. Like, this is actually stupid, in my opinion. Yeah, his pokes. Like, look, look where they this leave is me seven on frames. Block. This is seven frames. Minus three. This is let's see. Down four, I think it's eight frames. Where is down four? Down four is eight frames at minus three. And that leaves and like I can condition you with scud shot. I can control spacing really good with it. And then this one, I think this is the best one in my opinion. That I don't see a lot of people use, but I think every Aaron should use. So let's say I'm right in front of you. But this leaves me in perfect range for down four. So I can literally just keep doing this. That and you have ridiculous. It's so good. Like, it's control spacing so good. Obviously, there's words around it, but some characters just have to hold this. And I can, like, just take my turn back, basically. Not not whenever I want, but for the most part, I can take my turn back. Okay, now, the thing about, the thing about his pokes is everybody can agree that his pokes are the best thing about him. Just yes, for sure. flat out. <laughs> pokes are actually, like, ridiculous. I actually used to see, like, Sonic um block real quick he would like do this and then buffer into that <laughs> so like try to catch people pressing after that oh no did i just give you an idea <laughs> but <laughs> yeah that crap was hilarious like he would sweep them and then buffer this into like the uh yeah, yeah. I, I remember watching that i remember watching that yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, but his like... pokes are amazing doing so good so yeah the thing about um so like paul said he thinks aaron it's not like bad or horrible or anything. But the thing about this game is like almost everybody is viable. And the only person that isn't viable off the top of my head is well, period, in my opinion, is Shao Kahn. I can see that. Honestly. Everybody else can do some work. They can't. Yeah. So even though um you know, Aaron is like considered usable, he's still down there. Like he just is. Yeah, I, agree. I, don't think, I don't think anyone can argue that. I, I, I see people say Aaron's not low tier, but like, post can only take you so far, you know what I mean? Like, this, yeah. this is 1%. This is 7. This is 3. Like, this is only at some point, like, post can only get you so far in tournament play until, now, like, you know? Do you feel like there's some matchups that Aaron absolutely demolishes in no matter what? No, I don't, the only matchup I think he wins. Is against Katana Highborn specifically because he can make her, uh, he can punish her fans if you block a certain way, and that's also one thing I like about Aaron. He also he's like the only character that has like character specific tech for like certain characters or like each character, mm -hmm. like such as he can scud shot ex um ex rock wall so he can punish it and you know how to learn the fast block timing. What the heck, Johnny? He he's that. like the only character who can punish four three four four by making a whiff on the last hit. He can punish Katana on her best strings. Like, he has, like, a lot of character-specific tech, and that's why I like him a lot. 
Now let's talk about the whiffing issues you were talking about earlier. Okay, yeah. Let them know so about that. So they, I I hear this all the time, like when I'm like when I like in my stream, they're like, this never whiffs. It's so like situational. But I've literally had this whiff on me in turny so many times. So I'm gonna, uh, uh, we can try to recreate it. I'm not sure how like how long it takes, but we can try and create it. Right. I'm gonna just do this. Yeah. yeah, just try to do that. Let's just do it for like a, oh, yeah, like right and there. Exactly. That, that would whiff. Okay, so basically, he he can trade off his like his links, right? He can trade off trades. Mm -hmm. He can combo off trade. My fault. But since the first hit sends him so far, the second hit won't reach. So I literally get punished. And it's not even like on trades too, like I not I don't know the exact spacing because I can't recreate it. But like if I'm max distance, it's gonna whiff. And I find it stupid because like why should I get punished for like making the right read and like out condition my opponent, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the worst. And don't forget about this one. Okay, so basically I don't know I don't know what the exact circumstances were, but I was fighting um one of my friends in the tournament. I had four three because I knew he was gonna backdash, so I, I read him, I had four dash, and I did four three two. But the second hit with, I don't know. It's, it's I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to recreate it, obviously. But the fact that that can happen in tourney is just so demoralizing because like I'm doing everything right, but since the character is so bad, I just get punished for it. So I just feel like they should really fix the whiffing issues. And it, oh, another thing that bothers me is KB damage. So this is a basic BND for Aaron, right? Mm -hmm. This is thirty percent. Now is. Is it on? No. This is his KB damage. He only gets 2% more. Jeez. That's Jeez. awful. That's literally the worst KB damage in the game. Now, like, it's so bad. Let me just mention something real uh, quick. At the beginning of the video, I'm just saying this because I know how some people in the comments are, so I just want you to be clear about it. Yeah. You said, <laughs> like, you couldn't do something that was demoralizing because the character so bad but at the beginning you said he was good so where you like <laughs> i'm a little confused now so let them know okay I'm, so I'm wait, sure i think know he's a good mean. character don't get, yeah i don't get me i think he's a good character mm -hmm. like he has everything to be a good character but just this game like the top tiers and like even the higher tier characters they have like bullshit you know yeah like johnny has rising star resets neutral garris has a sand trap that like you lose neutral like Cetron has boulder into geyser which jails and even if you Ugh. get close she has some of the best buns in the game Yeah, so like, don't get me wrong I think damage. yeah exactly all she likes damage that's it but besides that she's like a perfect character and don't get me wrong I think Aaron's good I'm like the only person who thinks Aaron can do it like people always tell me oh drop Aaron you like you're not gonna go anywhere Aaron because he's like really bad but the fact that like I feel like I'm like one of the only few people who understand him mm-hmm Cause I try to tell like all my other Aaron Mans this, just play lame. Like that's all you have to do, just play <laughs> lame. Like this is this is it. This is where you want to be with Aaron. Scud shot, hold them in acid, or they can be like, you know, taking bullets, they can taking tip damage, like whatever. They want to get out that acid. And when they freak out, that's when you can really capitalize. So don't get me wrong, I think he's good, but honestly, he has his problems like whiffing and damage considerably. So it's like, I think he's good, but I still think he's like bottom 10, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that's what I said. I get what you mean. Like, you feel like he has the, the tools to do good, but it's just like, he the element of randomness is just like, why? Yeah, he's like, yeah, it's like a why. It's like, the chance of me whiffing is like, it's a lot higher than people think. And it's just like, well, that's unfortunate. And also... What do you have for that one comment that's going to be like, he's not the best Aaron Hayate is? What do you have to say <laughs> to that person? Um, I'll just say I'm, I'm like, tournament-wise, mm -hmm. like, I guess, like, ever since I started competing in the NRS Pro Tour and same for Hayate, I've outplaced him, like, multiple times. Like, the two times I went to ECT, I got 17th. He drowned in pools. Mm -hmm. And I, any C, I got 17th again. He got, like, 33rd or something. And don't get me wrong, Hayate is fucking amazing. Like, I think Hayate is really good. Of course. And, you know, I think he's a homie. We talked a couple times. But it's just, I just feel like Aaron's not his character. I feel like Frost could be, like, definitely his character. I feel like Hi like she would kind of play, like, Takeda. Or, like, she reminds me of Takeda, but, like, her neutral and whatever. Yeah, it surprised me when I saw him pick up Aaron, too. Like, when Aaron was in a good state, he always had a pocket scorpion. But I'm not sure if he ever pulled that out in tournament. But it's like... 
Scorpion seemed more of a character for him than Aaron, so I was yeah. really confused when he stuck with Aaron. He said he only likes playing characters that he like. He only mains characters that he likes. So like you know that's different. But yeah, for now I'll just say I'm the best Aaron. <laughs> like tournament wise. <laughs> oh, okay, man. So yeah. Yeah, no, no, don't don't disrespect or anything. Calling him trash, but you know I'm just I'm just too good. Yeah, that's hey. If that's how you feel. <laughs> like that's um why I wanted you to say that because there always somebody in the comments. Oh like, yeah, absolutely <laughs> always somebody like he ain't the best Aaron. What about this? What about that? What about this? I'm like okay, let me just have him explain why. Cause yeah, they gonna have me in the comment. comments, you know, just typing going off. <laughs> like, yeah, I no saw your comment. It was it. like, what made what made you say he's the best Aaron and anything? But like, mm -hmm. I was like, nah, I'm just, I don't know. I just feel like no one's playing him like I am. So, and I, yeah. What are, how specific can we get on this without? Okay, so what do you think he needs for buffs? Like, what are the specific buffs you think he needs? Okay, so I have dream buffs and I have realistic buffs. Now, realistic buffs. <laughs> I would say fix the whiffing issues. So I'm gonna knock you down, okay? Right. Then just hold up. I get punished for that. Oh wait, let me try to punish you. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Oh wait. Right. I guess. <laughs> Can I press a different button? We'll just do a down one. Uh, no, no, because I, I need to knock you down, so you oh, can okay. jump on wake up. Well, if basically if I miss my midi by like a frame, even a frame, and I try to midi with two one. Yeah, you you can just now. hold up. Yeah, I mean, you know. Because I had to learn how. Yeah, exactly. Back to two or two one. Oh. Like, you can punish me. And then you it's... delay. I'm guessing you delay wake up and punish it. Oh, uh, you have to do like a. No, you don't have to delay wake up. Oh, wow. It's actually catching. <laughs> yeah, really it'd be weird. like that in videos. <laughs> Stuff never uh, wants to yeah, like, like freaking you, work. You, you try, you try to knock me down. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. You got easy <laughs> yeah, crushing yeah. blows off? Yeah, just knock me down. Cut that off. Oh wow, you're an Aaron means too. <laughs> he's lying, y'all. Well, he's exactly. kidding. <laughs> People gonna really think. <laughs> I'm trying to mess up on purpose. There you, go. there you go. It's not like, yeah, on purpose it's like harder, but like it happens way more in like tournament. That's why like, I had to get people to understand. Yeah. Like this shit happens because like you have to be perfect your meaty, or guess what? You're getting you're getting punished for trying to full combo. Full combo punish KB whatever grab. Like, you, you have to be on the point with your midi. So basically, that was one thing I would want them to fix because Jax has a similar string. 2-2-1-1-2-2 two, two, one, one, two, two in Ringer. And I've tried to jump out of it so many times, and it catches me every single time. So it's not like they don't have the technology to do this, you know? Or like, they don't have like a template, because they can just use Jax's string. Post and exposed for jumping on wake up? <laughs> no, always jump on wake up. I always <laughs> do. I never blog, this is MK. <laughs> But you yeah, they had a <laughs> exactly. They had a template to do it, so they can just transfer that to Aaron, and fix all his whiffing issues, mm -hmm. and then just get the rid the false block gap on this, and I'm fine with it. You know what I mean? Now my dream buffs are like making all his his um, variations viable, which I know won't happen because I like not even like certain characters have that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they don't make his variations viable. So like, okay, I'm gonna like just. Go to right now because we're focused on fleets of cards, so let me go on like bark right, that one's mode. mine. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, it's just the wrong one. That's unfortunate. <laughs> well, while that's going on, that gives me a perfect chance to ask you what do you think about scud shot specifically? Like, do you do you think scud shot needs to be changed at all? Mm, yes, I think it should be like the way it was because even if they did revert it, right? Let's say they changed it back to the way it was, you know, mm -hmm. I don't think they're ever going to do that. It wouldn't be even as broken as it was since day one, because so many characters got better, and all that. So I feel like him and the, the only thing that Scudshot did was make his mid safe, because without it, his mid is a minus fifteen, yep, and that's what makes every other show them better. that actually. Let's go to, what is it? I honestly forgot what it was. Frame data. Think on both. both. All right. It's minus 15. While character the Garrus is minus 3. <laughs> Jaggy is minus 2. Like, that's all Scudshot did was make it safe. And people were like, but it made all his strings safe. If he did 2 1 2 into Scudshot pre patch, it was minus 10. So you could punish me. And it's not like it has no pushback. 
So what is this now? That's a minus nine. Let me just let it go quick. Oh wait, it's not popping up. Yeah, it didn't pop up. It's minus nine basically because they what they did was add five frames of delay. Mm -hmm. So more like so it'd be nine frames. Now so, if I have no meter, I have to really be careful with using my with using so my block best meter. I just want to see something from myself. Like no. block it off. Yeah, yeah, I got you, got you. And it's minus, minus nine, nine if he does that shoot. too. Yeah, 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 you can shoot it basically. See what I oh. personally feel like they could do to scud shot is just make the meter burn version like very safe. That's what I personally think they could do to it. But that's just me. Because Yeah, I feel you. Like the mind game would be, hey, am I gonna make it safe or like what? Then that adds like another layer to open people up. But, but that's the thing, right? If you do back to two, like back to two scud shot, mm -hmm. it's minus twelve. Like just like with the whole string rock, it's minus twelve. No, what I meant more like is if he does this all and then it comes oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it comes out at the end, or is yeah. that not guaranteed? It's guaranteed, but it's just oh, like yeah. it's minus twelve. <laughs> that's the good thing, right? Yeah, that's why I was like, if they make this very safe, I think that would be good. Like up close. That way he would have like mind games because like you said, we pretty much know that they're not gonna put it to where it was. So I think yeah, the best I know, case yeah. scenario is like make it like very safe. I mean you're spinning a bar. So if he spins a bar up close, I think he should, you know, not have to worry. That's one of my biggest yeah. problems with this game is when you're spending resources and not getting that much out of it. So telling me I'm exactly. doing this right here and I'm spinning a bar and I'm minus nine, like nah, that ain't right. Exactly. I don't know I what you think they could change that to. <laughs> To make it better what people want like the errand means or just make this string like minus six or seven mm -hmm. so that it buffs all variations across the board and oh. not just 52 card didn't think about that yeah like, that would really good. that would really help him a lot because having a minus 15 mid is stupid yeah. Yeah, i don't know who created that when everyone else has a safe ass mid garrison over here faster. with a safe launcher He's at a safe launcher. Drag is minus two nine frame advancing mid. Oh, that crap's disgusting. Like, like hold it's... up, let me get into Jackie's mid. It's a <laughs> nine frame mid that is minus two that hit confirms into 30 plus damage that has meterless cancels. All in one mid. Think about that. You give that to anybody in the game and they're instantly top tier. It don't and matter it low who crushes. it is. So let's say we do a, if I do a poke at the same time as Jackie does a nine frame mid, it will beat my mid. It would be my low out. So I don't know why Jackie plays complaining about my my, my pokes. But that's like off topic, right? So basically, what I want to show is, so basically, Aaron has some way to keep himself safe in like almost every variation. Fifty two card has scud shot. It's not the best, but it works. Barking Ice has slide cancel. It gets rid of defense bar, but you're minus four. Mm -hmm. So, what, what can you ask for? Well, this variation has nothing. This is minus 15. <laughs> I've been seeing you down four into yeah. it. Like, I can do this. And don't get me wrong, that has really good pushback. And it's minus, it's one frame less. And a lot of characters can't punish it. But people always try to go for the full combo punish. Instead of just reversal punish, shadow kick, dragon kick, dash punch. Mm -hmm. like, like, a lot of characters have can fuck, Aaron punish fuck neutral moves. No, I don't think Aaron can punish it. <laughs> Maybe if I dash up, I haven't really lied yet. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, you can't. Wait, what's... That's 11 frames. You can't punish it. You can't punish it. So what is it on block? 14. But you can do 4-3 and it'll catch me. That block stun is nasty. It's block stun, yeah. That's what everyone <laughs> said. Block, like, the block stun is crazy. Yeah, that block stun is absolutely disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. You kind of you suck at this. Hold up. Let's turn <laughs> this to a real match real quick. Nah, I'm just kidding. He's joking. But, um... Yeah, yeah anyway. <laughs> And this map, this move is completely useless. Actually useless. Like, I have not found one practical way to Yo, set it up. I, I saw you hit somebody. Wait, was it Pop-Tart? Yeah, it was. I did this. And I just threw it at him. But, like, it's, like... <laughs> that, that was hilarious. It's, it's, yeah, it's funny. Like, that's all... Like, when I'm playing this variation, that's when I'm having, like, the most fun. Because it's so stupid. Like, how much I actually hit people with this. But I know it's because they haven't lived it. Because no, no one expects you to fucking play lots right, of loaded and bike. So, what's that string? Oh, uh, just back forward. I think back forward one. Back forward one. All right. Yeah. So, right. Let's see. Punish. There we go. 
Yeah, it's a punish. The Aaron main had to punish it. So there we go. And the, the boss is definitely weird. But you can punish yeah. it, that's the thing. A lot of characters can. Uh, one Wolf, Ford, one, two can punish it. Pop Tart ran to the lab and realized Jack can punish it if he micro dashes. Like, this is like just all gimmicks. This is the definition of gimmicks. Mm -hmm. And that's like the reason I, I have the most fun playing with it, because it's just so bad. But it somehow works on like top players. Oh crap, this video is on the 20 minute mark. <laughs> this is where people start to lose their attention span. So, <laughs> let's kind of wrap this up a bit. Oh, get up on man. Um, oh, wait, no, so yeah, re let's recap. So, okay, recap. Recap buffs. What are the buffs you think he needs? Buffs. I feel like back to two should be like minus six, six, minus six or seven across the like, like across the board. So it buffs all variations. Mm -hmm. Fixes whiffing issues, and just make two and two and fixes crushing blow damage. Like buff it to the point where I'm not getting the same damage for a B and B. And th those are like my realistic buffs. And I feel like after that, Aaron could be good, and I wouldn't have I wouldn't I wouldn't have a problem. Cause I'm fine. I guess I'm fine with working hard as long as I'm like getting. I'm getting rewarded for it. Wait, right. you know, whiffing, whiffing on his isn't rewarding. So everybody, y'all heard it here. We had our discussion about Aaron and everything, and that's the changes that Post thinks Aaron needs. Now, yes, um, sir. Like, look forward to him drowning in pools next tournament. I mean, um, of course. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding too. But um, all in two, boys. <laughs> But yeah, let them know where they can um, watch you at, and I'm of course gonna put your Twitch below. He's been grinding uh, on there. <laughs> thank you. Um, you can watch me. All my social media is the same. So Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube are all my name is Pulse, one word, and really easy to find. All right, and that's it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitch and my Patreon. And Nick Ops out.